Hi Virgo, I'm here to do a reading for you. This reading is just going to focus on what you need to know in order to heal, to move forward in a positive way at this time. Please remember Virgo that the messages may or may not resonate with your situation. So only take the messages if they resonate. Okay Virgo, so let's just see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors. <clears throat> what does Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know at this time? You may be needing protection or you may be having like negative thoughts. Leo got the same kind of sort of message. So you could have Leo in your chart or you could be connected to a Leo, a Leo friend maybe. But let's see what comes out for you, Virgo. Okay, so we have here Amethyst. I'm telling you, <laughs> dreams, losses, and sorrows. You, your thoughts are constantly moving in circles. Amethyst helps you to let go. Your intuition connects to reality and creates mental clarity. So I feel like you may be having or needing clarity on a situation. Okay. Maybe you're not seeing. Maybe This is the card to me of like you could be keeping yourself in an illusion in some type of way. I got it on my food. What did you eat, baby? My food. Oh, okay, baby. I got food. What kind of food you want? Hold on, Virgo. Excuse me, Virgo. So, yeah, I feel like you could be needing to let something go. This could be negative thoughts. Um, You may be like, maybe you went through a breakup. Because I'm also getting that here with Emerald. And Leo got the same card. It says, Harmony Beauty. Emerald opens you up for your, or a partner, and re revitalizes your togetherness. It guides you to harmony and inner beauty. So, if you went through a breakup. I'm feeling that it's possible that you may get back with this person or you, you know, you feel like you lost them or you're sad about it. And you keep thinking about what happened in the relationship and, you know, you're not really clear on why things may have ended with this person or something like that. Yeah, we have here retreat, calm and stability with Agate here. <clears throat> it says it's time to clarify inner confusions and to stabilize yourself. Agate helps you with this and protects you from outside influences. So there could have been something going on outside of you that caused some type of loss. There may be people in your ear trying to tell you what is best for you. And I'm saying sometimes people can have good advice. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of times your best advice comes from within you, especially through prayer and asking the divine God to source to you know, clarify things for you so that you won't be confused, to get you out of this state of confusion. Yeah, because we have here the five of swords here. You may be feeling defeated. There could have been some outside force that may have caused this breakup. I'm just getting there's a breakup here, um, Virgo. Some type of breakup. Like I said, this may or may not resonate with you. Yeah, we have here um the triumph card, which is... um. The chariot. This is cancer energy. So you could have been dealing with the cancer. Um, something about a car. So maybe you went somewhere. Someone went somewhere. Maybe they didn't tell you. Or yeah. I just feel like there's a lot of confusion here. But you will be triumphant. You will move forward. I want to take a peek at the book for the chair, the triumph card. Because it's, I feel like there's something in here that I can read to you that may clarify some things okay so yeah there's balance that may be needed it's like someone here is allowing life and the people around them to pull them in to things that really are not for your best interest here Yeah, it's something that somebody else is saying here or some outside force or outside people that is causing this. Let's see, tell me more. Yeah, we have here the four of pentacles. This is firm foundation. Someone here could have um turned their back on someone here. Or maybe someone feels like someone isn't listening or someone doesn't hear them. 
Someone here could have definitely been um, juggling. I also feel like someone could have made a choice or a decision without letting the other know. Or someone doesn't agree with the choice that someone made, Virgo. Or it's important for you to weigh your options at this time. Let's see here. You're confused about which way to go now. Yeah, you need to speak up. You could have Taurus in your chart. Maybe you felt like you weren't being recognized. But I feel like you are. You will be recognized. You will be rewarded. But maybe you don't feel this. Maybe you're not feeling like you're being heard from your partner or recognized by your partner. Let's see here. Maybe you feel like they listen to everyone else but you. <laughs> yeah, well, we have here suffering in silence. Oh, Virgo. And we have here the patience card. And we also have here the universe, which means the ending to a cycle. This is so similar to Leo's reading. Let me pull this. Yeah, we have here sacrifice. I believe, is this, no, this is not the hermit. Solitude is the hermit. Sacrifice would be um, the hangman. So it's like, I'm going to take a look at uh, suffering in silence because... I just feel like there's something here that I need to know to give me more clarity on the situation. Yeah, it says your mind has been doing quite a job on you lately and your dreams are trying to get your attention. It's time for you to let go of worry, despair, hopelessness. Okay? Be patient with yourself. You don't have to suffer in silence. I feel like there are there are avenues, there are people who are willing to help you if you speak up about what you're going through at this time, Virgo. Let me look at sacrifice, which is the hangman. Yeah, I just feel like you need to allow yourself to receive, Virgo. I feel like you just... It's like you will sacrifice yourself at the expense of others. It's like you you sacrifice. You do things that you don't even really want to do here in order to appease other people. And I feel like they may have left you in some type of defeat because you had you experienced some sort of loss here. But whatever this is that's going on in your life, there's nothing you can really do about it. But it's important for you to stay strong. Yeah, it says, have patience, pause, meditate. And it's like, look at the events with a more understanding, intuitive eye. There are some changes coming into your life that you really can't, there's nothing you can really do about it, but to, to analyze it and see what it is that you can learn from this. There's no need to overthink. This may be changes in a home or a relationship here. So let's see here. Tell me more for Virgo, Holy Spirit. It says focus on the things that you can't you can change. And um, what is that little saying? I forgot what it is. It's like focus on the things that you can change and um, accept the things that you cannot change. But we have here food and eating. And it came out in reverse. So I feel like it says, yeah, be mindful of the thoughts you are ingesting and also the food, Virgo. But I feel like more, most importantly, if this is, has something to do with your thoughts. There's a way that you're thinking and it may be, I feel like this way of thinking is coming from outside people. Try to think positive, okay, about this situation. If there's nothing you can do about it, the only thing you can do is accept it and try to look at it from a different perspective. Or how did, how, what can I learn from this? How can I move forward positively? We have your childhood home. So this has something to do with the home. But it says, remember where you're from and who you really are. Absolutely. You can overcome anything. And like I said, you don't have to suffer in silence. There are people and there are avenues that are willing to help you. I'm saying even go to church. 
you know, churches that will help you, um, different organizations, or maybe you just need to let it out. Maybe even therapy, Virgo. Let's see here. Yeah, we have here dance. I'm telling you, Leo got the same card. It says move to the rhythm of your soul. Dancing may even help you relieve some of this stress or relieve some of this mental anguish that you may be in at this time. Because we have here family. Explore your sacred root system. You have family that could possibly help you. I'm getting that there's something with your family. Here we have here person wallet. <laughs> It says, pursue your true wealth. Absolutely. And we have here, bridge. Stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. All the same cards that Leo got. Here we have here, job. Love what you do and do what you love. So this could have something to do with the job loss. But just know you are the currency. You have the power to manifest anything into this physical reality. And that includes money, financial stability. So you can do this, Virgo. Absolutely. Arise and see a higher point of view. With flying here, this may definitely have something to do with an X. But it's important for you to take responsibility for your power. Try to look at things again, as I said, maybe for the fifth time. <laughs> from a different perspective and what you can learn. And I'm getting possibly you could come back together with this person if that's something that you want to do. But it's important for you to watch your thoughts. And even try not to be around people who may be feeding into the negativity. Because, you know, some people just thrive off of negativity. And you don't need that at this time, Virgo. Not at all. So let's see here. What else does Virgo need to know, Holy Spirit? Thank you for these messages. I pray that all things work out. I know I'm speaking it into reality for you, Virgo. All things are going to work out. Things will be even better than they were before. Okay, know this, Virgo. Let's see here. What, what does Virgo need to know, Holy Spirit? We have here soulmate relationship. This definitely has something to do with the relationship. But it says new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now and friendship. So maybe you're going to end up, there's a friend here. Because you know, soulmate relationship is not always a romantic partner. It can also be a friend. But it says, make a date for a play date with one or more friends. Yes, a positive friend now. <laughs> yeah, we have here, stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Maybe you're self-employed and things aren't going like you planned or how you wanted them to go, but they will because we have your self-employment. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. Yeah, make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. You may like unicorns or unicorns may be significant here. Positive energy. Absolutely. It says, surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Avoid it at all costs. Avoid it like the plague. Okay, Virgo. So, I really hope that these messages help you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you, Virgo. Bye.